Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a review of the CSB Study Bible. This one is in the black goat skin. And I like this Bible so much that uh, I bought this one and because I'd had it in this one here, which is the mahogany imitation leather cover. I liked it so much that I went ahead and purchased the one in the black goat skin. So this one is going to be sent off to somebody. So hopefully they will be blessed by that. But just a great Bible. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the box. And you may have seen my unboxing video of this. And I believe the person that I got it from sold it to me because the pages were all stuck. So I had to unstick it, which is fine with me. So it tells us there that it's black goat skin. They say that this translation is faithful and true, which I do believe. I have really enjoyed the CSB. So there's a little bit of info about this particular Bible if you would like to pause and read that. We've got our features here. So I'm not going to go over all of those on there. I'll just let you take a quick peek at that. These pictures here are all examples of what's inside this Bible. There's an example of our text size. That noise is my dog running back and forth. There is our ISBN number. Shows this one retails for $149.99. So let's take a look at the Bible itself. And then here in just a moment, because this is a black goat skin, the Spurgeon Study Bible also is in a black goat skin. That's this one here. So in just a minute, I'll show you kind of a difference in these two covers. They're both goat skin, because I know that that Spurgeon one is a popular one. But this particular Bible here, it's good size. I mean, it's a study Bible. I don't think the footprint of it is very big. I mean, it is thick, but it is nine and a half inches tall by seven inches wide. And this one is two inches thick. As you can see, we've got a nice silver gilding. We've got, you can see some of the perimeter stitching there. But we do have a red and black ribbon, which is nice. So these got these nice silver gilded page edges. The spine on this is fantastic. So we've got these three raised ribs, which look great. We've got CSB Study Bible, Christian Standard Bible, and Holman. On the back, there's nothing on the back, just plain. This is a just a very nice Bible. I've had it for a couple weeks now and I love it. So the cover on this one, I don't know what type of liner this is, whether it's some type of a leather lined or if it's some type of synthetic, but this one is very, very flexible. I mean, you could roll it up definitely tighter than that. It's going to snap right back into shape, but just nice and soft. It's got the red primary perimeter stitching, which I think looks fantastic. I think the color combination in this looks great. I love the red and black that they chose. So it looks like this one is edge lined, so you can kind of see how that is in there. Got our presentation page. I'm just going to kind of flip through these parts kind of quickly. So there's our copyright. There's the different editions that they have. This one is printed in China. Whoops. All right, so we've got table of contents, our books of the Bible, an introduction to the CSB. So if you've never read the CSB and you get one, I would definitely read that. This has some of the features. So if you would like to pause and look at that. But I mean, it's just filled with cross-references, study notes, there's word studies, book introductions. I mean, just tons of information in this. So these are just some examples of what you're going to find inside this Bible. I mean, just, I love this Bible. So you can kind of see some of these different features on there, but I want to get in and actually show them to you. 
So there's some essays in here. There's quite a bit of essays. There's map illustrations and charts. We've got uh, a bunch of Hebrew word studies. So all of these here, all these word studies, it'll tell you the word in English, the word in the Hebrew, the chapter it's in, the chapter and verse, and uh, the page number that it's on. So as you can see, I'll just kind of pan down this. You can look at all those different Hebrew keyword studies. So and these are just scattered throughout the text. So this is just a phenomenal Bible. So there's another page there. And then it also starts alphabetically here. So quite a bit of word studies. And then there's also Greek word studies. So, I mean, you could spend years in this Bible and not learn everything. I mean, it's fantastic. It's got the abbreviations. An intro to the CSB, how to read and study the Bible. I mean, if this ended up being your only Bible, I think you would have plenty of information. So there's reading the Bible for transformation, the origin, transmission, and canonization of the Old Testament books, sources and authorship for Genesis, the Apocrypha and Protestant Bible, and then we get into the Old Testament. So each book, you're going to have a nice book introduction. And every one of them is going to have a photograph. So that one's reading the Torah. So just great information that you get in this. I mean, when I do read in this one, I just I get totally lost in here to where I could spend all day in this Bible. I have to pull myself away from it. So here is one of the full color book introductions and in every book of the Bible, all 66, is going to have a nice book introduction. So there's a little bit about it there, but just a nice full color photograph on each one of these introductions. And so that's just the photo and then you've actually got the circumstances of the writing, the message and purpose contribution to the Bible, structure, and an outline. And then you can see across the bottom here that it's got a nice timeline that goes across. So a lot of great information and we haven't even gotten into the actual Bible text yet. And so here we're going to get into the actual text of the Bible. So the font in this one, it is a nine point font. So a fair size. They do have a large print edition, but I couldn't see anything that they were going to come out with a goat skin, so I went ahead and got this one. So we've got the nine point up here, and then we've got three columns of notes, and then the notes are in an eight point font. You've got center column references, and the CSB, one of the, like their main colors is orange. So they do have orange on all of the chapters, and then also in the notes down here, you can see that they also use the orange color. But I do like that it's in a different color down here on the notes versus the text. The ghosting is not bad in this one at all. It's always going to look a little bit worse on the camera, of course, but it's really not bad. So here is an example of one of those Hebrew word studies. You could always pause and read that if you would like. I'm going to kind of go through some of these features fairly quickly because I don't want this video to be too terribly long. So here is a illustration of Moses and the Israelites at Mount Sinai. So there's a lot of nice artwork in there. There's a rendition of what the Ark of the Covenant might look like. Lots of in-text map. Here's another one of those word studies. And there's so many of the word studies. So this here is Joshua's Cities of Conquest. And then we've got a nice in-text map. So it's nice when you're reading something in the text and it pertains to a place 
that talks about it, you can go right to the map, see where that's at, and then continue reading and not have to flip to the back. So that is very nice. Here is another full color map. Also another word study there. So I do like that it is in the double column format. I do like that. Here is a nice picture here. This is the Spring of Herod. So this is where, uh, if you can see there, let me pull that out of the way. So this is where Gideon's men were tested on how they drank water. So if you remember reading about that. So a lot of actual places within this, which is neat. Again, I really do like that it's broken up in color instead of being one solid white page. I like that it is a different color on the bottom. Holman is just doing a fantastic job with the CSB. They're doing so much neat stuff. So here's a one of those illust nice illustrations. A lot of them it's either a nice illustration like this or it's an actual photo in each one of the introductions. So they all start off like this and then they go into those introductions and they have those same five key features. Another word study. There's so many of these word studies in here. So this is kind of neat here. This is David's family, so you've got little symbols for male and female. I, I love using this Bible. It is absolutely fantastic. Got another map. This one is a model of the city of David. I mean, you could not go wrong with this Bible. If you got this study Bible, I'm pretty sure anybody would love this. So here's an introduction to Proverbs. And there is one really neat thing in here in Proverbs. If I can find it. So here's a uh, topical chart of Proverbs. So this is kind of neat. I don't know that I've seen this in another study Bible. So I think that's pretty cool because Proverbs is such a great book. So it is kind of neat to be able to see that topically. So another map, another nice illustration. Just a great, great Bible. So this is the intertest intertestamental history. So if you wanted to look at that picture there, shows that it's a synagogue. But a lot of neat information in the period between the Old and New Testaments. A lot of actual photos, some are illustrations. But just really, really neat. And so you're going to have several pages of that too. So you've got the origin, transmission, and canonization of the New Testament books. Which is neat. Got our introduction there to Matthew. This one also is red letter, as you can see there. So the red in this, it is a very nice shade of red. It's really consistent throughout. I didn't see any highs or lows anywhere in it, but nice shade of red. It's not that orange color of red, which none of us really like. But yeah, just very, very nice. So we've got another illustration there of a reconstruction of a typical first century synagogue. So one thing that I forgot to show is these ribbons. So the ribbons are very nice. They're thin, but they're a good quality ribbon. It has a really nice feel to it. They did them very nice. So you've got one red ribbon, and then there's also one black ribbon. I really like the colors that they chose in this particular Bible. With the black and the red, you can see the red stitching around the edges there. So this is the site of the Pool of Shalom here. This is an example of one of the many articles are in this Bible. So, is Jesus the only way? So, and some of the articles are a short one like this. Some are going to be a full page article. That's a Roman grain ship that they 
got here. And then here's an introduction to the New Testament letters. So as you can see, this thing is, there's something just, there's so many word studies, there's so much information packed into this. Here's another article. This one is the Salvation of the Old Testament. Looks like these here are uh, baptismal type fonts. We've got another Greek word study there. Another actual photograph there. Just a very neat Bible. So this one here is the Catacombs of St. John the Baptist in Thessalonica. So that's pretty cool. If you wanted to check that out. But an absolutely gorgeous Bible. All this color in here, all the great information you get in this. I mean, this is well worth the cost. So this one is a neat one. This is an article by Sean McDowell. And this one is titled what really happened to the apostles and so this has this is a really good article because you've got several pages so it gives you all the information about what really happened to the apostles so that is really neat we've got a table of weights and measures and then we do have a concordance it is a three column format i'm not sure what size the font is on here but I do like that they've got the main word bolded like that. So you do get the concordance. So there's the thickness of that. I don't know if it says, so it looks like it starts on page 2056 and goes to page 2128. There are a few different Bible reading plans in this one. So there's a three-year Bible reading plan. Then there's also the Daily Bread, the Word of God in a Year, and that one's by Robert Murray, and I'm not sure if that's pronounced Shane. Not sure how you pronounce that, but I know that that's a popular Bible reading plan, so it does include that. Then we've got a 52-week scripture memory plan. And then it gets into the art credits. And then we also do have some more maps here in the back. This is a sewn binding, so you can kind of see some of the stitching there. Got some nice full color maps. This is on a thicker cardstock, but it's not a shiny cardstock. It's kind of a satin finish. And then there's just a couple pages there. And then we get into the back cover. It does tell us that it is, in fact, a goat skin leather. But this is very, very flexible. So I told you before that I was going to show you the difference between the cover on this one and the Spurgeon. Because the Spurgeon one is also a goatskin leather. So it does have the same ribs. So you can see that they both have that same ribbing. They're both done in the black. This one tells us on the back that it is goatskin. But the liner in this one is a like a vinyl paste down on this one so this one's not going to be nowhere near as flexible although it still is really soft and flexible it does have a different feel than this one so even on the outside and i'm not sure if that's anything to do with that inner liner or not but this one is not a paste down liner so very very flexible and that one's going to be able to roll up go right back where it was. I would not try that on the Spurgeon one. It has the same footprint other than the one is a little bit thicker. As you can see, the CSB study Bible is definitely thicker than the Spurgeon study Bible. And with any study Bible, you just need to remember that the notes are not scripture. So you have to remember that the Bible is the only the actual scripture part is the only inspired part. The rest of these notes are definitely from man. So just keep that in mind when you get a study Bible. But this one, I would definitely recommend this one. So I'm going to give you a shot again of the ISBN number. This one retails for $149.99. And I'll also give you a shot of the Spurgeon study Bible. And I also have a review of this one in my videos. 
So there is the Spurgeon Study Bible. So there is a $50 price difference, but you're going to have more information in this one. And then the cover is also going to be quite a bit more flexible. So keep that in mind. But either one of these would be a great study Bible. I love this one. It's fantastic. So I would highly recommend it. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.